welcome to the marathi ml channel today we are going to see how we can use jema for the rag based capabilities in my last video i have explained uh, about the game jema uh, and the detail uh, explanation about the jema and how we can use jema for the fine tuning purpose so that you can fine tune for your own specific data set your own specific data to get the accurate result so the detailed explanation i have given in the last video i would recommend please watch that video uh, if you are new to the jema uh, so that it will be very helpful otherwise you can start from this video as well uh, so here uh, we are developing the transformer bot so basically we are asking the any question related to the transformer uh, we know that there is a very special paper called as attention is all in need uh, release in 2017 and that uh, change everything in NLP uh, in NLP environment, right? Uh, so we are going to ask uh, the question which we wanted to ask uh, related to transformer, and our bot will help us to give the answer. Uh, moving forward, uh, these are some of the tools uh, that we are going to use uh, in uh, in today's uh, demo. Uh, that we are going to use the quadrant. Then we are going to use a PDF. So here we are using the paper called attention is all you need. And we are sending this paper to the quadrant. Here we are storing the uh, embedding. Okay, so quadrant is basically a vector database. And in this vector database, we are storing all our embeddings. Then we will use the Gradio. This Gradio will act as a user interface for the user. And on response to that, we will get the answer. Uh, then we will use the JEMA model uh, for the practice uh, for this we are using 2 billion parameter JEMA model which is uh, posted in the hugging face last time we have used the cackle this time we are using the hugging face and for all this integration and the orchestration purpose we are using the LangChain LangChain as a framework so these are the tools uh, we are going to use for this uh, demo purpose okay let me go to the google collab notebook so that it will be helpful for you to understand how we can uh, write the code for this uh, integration okay so let me go to the google jema uh, notebook uh, uh, so let me first of all give the credit to this uh, superteams.ai block uh, this block helped me uh, to write this code so you can follow this block uh, if you want or you can go through this video However, there are few things uh, not mentioned in the block uh, while executing the code. So that will I will explain you uh, what are the things you need to add additionally to run this code in Google Colab. Okay, so uh, I would recommend to please watch this video till end uh, to get that nitty gritty to, so that you can run in the Google Colab. So uh, these are the some of the libraries we need to install. Uh, the first library we need to install is called as a, a tick token. Uh, then quadrant client langchain and the pypdf so these are the libraries uh, tick token is for the tokenization quadrant client is for the quadrant database initialization langchain we are going to use langchain as a framework for this orchestration purpose and the pypdf for the pdf reader uh, just for the sake of saving the time i already executed and already if you see the instance is already running so just save the time we are using this then there are few of the uh, other <coughs> uh, classes uh, we need to import uh, while executing so you can see we have used quadrant pypdf directory line chain and many other stops okay now using the pypdf directory loader we are loading the content uh, from uh, we are loading the water content is available so if you look, click here i already upload the paper call as attention is all you need you can upload any kind of pdf which you feel and uh, i'm reading uh, this document okay through this line of code then uh, we have installed uh, i have installed this sentence transformer once that is done we are using this uh, model uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, generating the uh, what i can say the embeddings okay so for this we are using the uh, all mpnet base v2 a model to create the uh, embeddings for this and this is the line of code uh, to create the embeddings okay so we are using this model uh, once done that uh, we are creating the chunk of the document now if you look at the 
the chunk size of the document is 500 and there is no overlap so we do not want any overlap between the chunks and we are creating the chunk of 500 for our document so for that we are using recursive character text splitter so this is coming uh, the langchain will provide this capability so that you can split your <laughs> pdf document into the chunks and then uh, so whatever document we have <laughs> loaded here okay if you look at this so this is a docs okay whatever document is loaded we are creating the <laughs> uh, we are doing the splitting for those document once done that uh, we are using the quadrant database so currently we are using the uh, local memory mode so the quadrant is providing the local capability so you can create the vector db locally and this is the syntax to create the quadrant database locally uh, you can have dedicated different space for the quadrant database you can do that or you can provision the quadrant database in cloud so you need to give the location accordingly but just for the sake of simplicity we are using the memory in location to create our quadrant database and here we are passing our splits plus the embedding model that we are using location and the collection name so what is the uh, name we wanted to provide for our uh, embedding so whatever the embeddings we are created for particular set we have to do the name under that name the embeddings is getting created it is called as a collection name now once once they done that we are uh, initiating the quadrant retrieval okay so this is the code to create the quadrant retrieval then um, you can install this uh, transformer uh, latest transformer 4.3.8 that is recommended after that we have to uh, create hugging face access token so this is very much important if you guys don't know how to create so you can go to the hugging face uh, uh, library hugging face website sorry let me go in face yeah so here it is hugging face if you go to the hugging face so sorry hugging face there is a your username you have to create the user go to the settings and in the settings section there is a call as a access token so you have to create the token for this okay you can give any name and you can and make sure that it has a right access once once done that uh, it is very one of the very important thing that is okay and uh, second this is very important after the token is created now i have stored this token in my uh, secret you you know this is the secret is available uh, you can store the secret here and from there you can get it now uh, once this token is stored you can get uh, from the secrets and then uh, you can use this model so this is the path to download the uh, model files for the gemma to be it uh, but it is very important you need to get the access so i'm providing the uh, link to get the access now let me yeah so this is the link once you click it here is the option you have to grant the access so you click they will the uh, some acceptance criteria you click on the accept and then it will provide in some time access to this without access you cannot use this model so please note this important thing okay, once done that you can do this and then uh, this part is something which is very important if you try to execute without uh, writing this block of code you will face that you will have the access issue so please run this uh, line of code uh, so once you run this uh, it will ask to log in and you have to provide the token okay once you pasted the token you will get the message call as a login successful and then using the hugging face uh, pipeline code uh, you can download the model files for the gemma so these are the set of uh, code you are you need to use it so these are the simple of uh, things that we wanted to see how the gemma works so i am just framing out the message uh, then this is the chat template uh, this is gmi is recommended uh, this is the way we wanted the chat template to be followed uh, chat template is very helpful to get the accurate result and it is also recommended uh, but it is not necessary uh, you, you you can avoid it that is also fine okay uh, so these are the message this is the prompt and this is what something that we want to test it, how it works so I, I i was asking the question where is the milan and this is something that we got the output from the gemma now let's uh, our today's agenda to use the uh, gemma for the uh, rack capability so here we are initiating the hugging pipeline we are giving the pipeline that we have already created i uh, let me show you the pipeline that we have created here this is the pipeline that we have created 
uh, and then there are other things that model cox what temperature we want to set up then this retrieval qa from dot chain type where we are passing the llm then chain type is a stuff and the retriever has a cotton retriever so that is what we have already said and then we are asking the question what is attention means just to check the answer and we are getting this output now you can see what is attention means it is giving us the output now let's integrate this thing with the gradio how the uh, we can achieve this using the gradio now uh, if you run this gradio code as it is you will get the issue so it is very important you need to set up as a utf8 so first i'm checking what is the local it's giving ansi and this block of code uh, once you run uh, your local will change from ansi x3 to the utf8 and then you can install the gradio once you install the gradio and these are the block of code simple for few lines of code will help you to write the ui so for this we are use customized uh, gradio block uh, function to uh, to give the uh, chat gpt like interface uh, now here this is the block of code you refer this notebook for your experimentation and for any change you feel once you executed this url is available and you can see this url is already running here right so this way you can uh, do the uh, the uh, ui coding okay now let's test how this gemma model works uh, let's let's run it and we'll see how it works okay um I, uh, will you help me to understand how positional encoding works okay so it is running i hope so it's up and running otherwise we need to execute this okay it's it's up running so see here's the detailed explanation how positional encoding works uh, positional encoding involves creating the vector that represent the position of each element in the input sequence this vector is typically created by shifting the original sequence to the right by certain number of position <laughs> the vector created in step one then use calculating embedding for each element in input sequence embeddings are typically created by applying linear transformation so this way it is okay. let's let's uh, ask the, another question what is uh, self attention right it is it is taking okay it is executed very fastly very nice so self attention is mechanism allows sequence of symbol to attain to distant sequence of symbol in the sequence this mechanism is used in various sequence of transduction encoder and decoder such as encoder self attention layer 5 6 in this method as described so this way you can ask multiple questions definitely this is not actually we have done any kind of uh, much modification so you can do other modification to get the more and more precise answer okay so this way i think uh, it, it is very helpful you can upload any kind of document for that you wanted to do kind of question answering and this ui will help us to you know uh, get the correct question answer from this thing uh, i hope uh, you you like this video uh, i will upload the presentation and the notebook on the github so that you can easily do the experimentation as per your own requirement uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, we will see in the next video thank you so much